when you fly in. But typically people fly into St. Martin, catch a ferry back over here to Anguilla and stay. Yeah, thank you so much. And if you're curious, yes, the Anguilla Airport is incredibly tiny, tiny, and it only took us about 10 to 15 minutes to get through immigration. So it's super fast. Oh, and don't forget to grab one of these little pamphlets. It's a map of the entire island, which is only 35 square miles in total. And the map gives you insight in some of the most well-known hotels, attractions, restaurants, and shops on the island. And speaking of that, have you seen our other video about all the other locations we explored on the island? I'll drop that video down below in the description box. I don't reserve anything prior to before, like a taxi, they're sitting out here at the airport, readily available. Hello sir, how are you? Uh, we rented a car. And if you're considering to do the same thing, here's a few things you should know. One, you will have to purchase a temporary Anguillan driver's license, and you can get a three day for $15 or a three month for $25, whichever fits your length of driving time. And obviously you have to have a valid driver's license in hand before you can actually rent a car. Number two, you can pre-book your car and pick it up whenever you arrive, or you can get to wherever you are staying via a taxi and then book a car. And whomever you book the car through, they'll actually deliver it to you and then they'll pick it up after you are finished with your reservation. And number three, be prepared to drive on the left side of the road and watch out for the roundabouts. Those can get a little confusing if you're not prepared for them. Number four, they don't really have signs with the name of the roads on them. So if you're considering driving and plan to keep your phone on airplane mode, it's probably best to either download an offline map of the island via Google Maps or maps.me, or make sure you have one of the maps of the island that I showed you earlier. And number five, majority of the roads are dirt besides the one main road that circles around the entire island. So if you're looking for a restaurant down on the beach, 99% of the time, it'll be down a bumpy dirt road and will look like you're actually driving onto someone's personal driveway. But don't worry, if this happens to you, just turn around and try the next dirt road. Oh, and I meant to mention this earlier. So Anguilla actually has a digital map that you can use as well. Either scan the back of their map or simply go to this website. I'll also list it in the description box down below. Okay, let's talk about how we saved a couple bucks while we were on vacation. So if you're visiting for the first time, I think it's good to be aware of the taxes you'll be paying for food and services. So Anguilla actually has two taxes and they total to an amount of 28%. So with this in mind, we decided to visit the local grocery store to stock up on a few items that we knew were going to cost double, well, nearly double, and to grab a few on the go snacks and some souvenirs too. And if you're wanting to do the same, we suggest going to Albert's Marketplace and Wholesale for your bulk items and your alcoholic beverages. And if you're wanting a larger variety of groceries, we suggest checking out Best Buy West, which is closest to the Four Seasons Resort on the west end of the island. And since we're on the topic of food, a large handful of the restaurants have specific hours and might be closed during part of your stay, especially if you're visiting Anguilla in the off or low season. So you'll find that a lot of the restaurants are typically closed Mondays through Wednesdays and then open back up Thursdays through Sundays. So if you find a restaurant that you like or are interested in eating at, make sure to check the hours or ask any of the locals about specific hours and the events that are going on. So then you don't waste any of your precious time driving around to a closed restaurant. Okay, I know I am missing a ton of information, but I didn't want this video to be too long to where I completely bored you. So I've actually written an entire blog all about our Anguilla trip with a little bit more in-depth details and tips about our travels. Also, be sure to check out the next video with a full room and resort tour of Zimmy Beach House. That's where we stayed. And yep, you guessed it. I'll drop that link down below in the description box. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Bye. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and tell us what you actually liked about it. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, smash that bell, click all, and then you'll be notified when we post our next video. We'll see you guys in the next one.